Welcome to Electron Line. Another way in which we can get a better understanding of electromagnetic radiation is to understand the relationship between the temperature of an object and the kind of radiation that is emanated from that object. Remember from the previous video that every object emanates electromagnetic radiation because the atoms inside will be vibrating according to their temperature. The hotter the object is, assuming this be a hot object, then you can see that the vibration of the atoms in there will be more violent, the amplitude will be greater, the frequency will be greater, and the energy being emanated from the, the object will be a much higher frequency, therefore much shorter wavelengths. An object that is much cooler, the, the atoms inside the object will vibrate more slowly, the, the frequency of the radiation will be then accordingly slower, and the wavelengths of the radiation accordingly will be also longer. So we realized that was a relationship between the temperature of objects and the kind of electromagnetic radiation that emanates from these objects. This is known as Wien's law. And Wien discovered that the wavelength is equal to some constant, in this case, 0.0029. Of course, if you want to know the, uh, that would be uh, meter times Kelvin, meter times Kelvin, uh, divided by the temperature. And of course, when we develop, divide the temperature into this number, Kelvin will cancel out and we're just simply left with meters. We'll get the wavelength in meters. And so this was known as Wayne, uh, Wien's law. Let me write it down. So that's Wien's law. And then if we manipulate that equation a little bit more, notice that the speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, which means that the wavelength is equal to the speed of light divided by the frequency. If we substitute that into Wien's law, we get the speed of light divided by the frequency instead of the wavelength is equal to 0.0029 divided by the temperature. If I now take the inverse of the equation, if I turn the equation around, I get the frequency divided by the speed of light is equal to the temperature divided by 0.0029. And finally, if I solve that for frequency, we get that the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by 0.0029. Of course, the units of that would be meters per second. And this would be equal to meters times Kelvin, like so, times the temperature. And of course, the temperature will be in Kelvin. So realize that this is simply a constant. So the frequency is equal to some constant times the temperature. What that means is if the temperature of the object doubles, then the frequency of the radiation coming from the object will double as well. If the temperature is half, then the frequency will be half. So simply what we see here is that the frequency of the radiation coming from an object is simply proportional to the temperature of the object. And that's kind of interesting. So the hotter it gets, the higher the frequency, the higher the energy being emanated from the object. So hopefully, again, that gives you, again, a better understanding of what electromagnetic radiation is and how it's generated from any object in the universe simply because the atoms in there are vibrating. The hotter they are, the faster the vibration, the higher the frequency of the radiation being emanated from the object. And as you can tell, it's directly proportional to the temperature in Kelvin of the object. And that's how we can take a look, another better look at electromagnetic radiation.